want the fucking money and the fucking bags. In the fucking bag right now. Come on, hurry! Can we get to corner? Who's the jerk? What the fuck do you want, Batman? What's with the fucking cake? Get the fuck out! Fear, does it? <laughs> Not really. Be sure to write that in your next newspaper article, The Rise of Dr. Hatchet. Right, so let me get this straight. You caught a knife. Two fingers. And then you, you knocked down two robbers all by yourself? Yeah. It was nothing. And, and then you went ahead and proclaimed yourself as, as Dr. Hatchet. Stole the bag, stuffed with money, and ran off. And you did all that in that ridiculous outfit. Hey, I spent a week preparing this. Besides you and your typical outfit, dull hat matching suit, Mr. Frederick von Paul, editor at the Cherry Local. Fredo, if you like. Frederick, <laughs> really, Frederick. <laughs> I have coffee for Frederick. And coffee for. Dr. Hatchet. I'm sorry, it says uh, Louise. Oh, I'm sorry, Louise? I abandoned that name long, long ago, thanks to Eve. Don't have time for a flashback now. Let's just stick to the interview. Twenty-seven years ago. Make her cry, then perhaps we'd believe that you'd be a bad boy. Hey! Hey! Oh, Alice! What happened? I think you saved a lot. So, you saved that girl's life? Well, obviously I wouldn't have done it if I had known. Right. Well, getting back to my previous story, it's going to be hard to portray you as a hero. That's because I'm a villain! <laughs> a villain? Yes. The number one villain in all of Cherrytown. I believe the Brigadier to be the number one villain in all of Cherrytown. Not for long. And what, uh, and what villainy acts have you done lately? <laughs> there was this one time when I changed the push-pull sign at the bank. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that one. Two robbers were caught because of that, weren't they? Yeah. Convenience store is my latest act of villainy as Dr. Hatchet! Uh, that. My preliminary report tells me that there was coke all over the floor. Yes, the robber threw it at me. I thought it was a knife. Yeah, and the coke. And, and what happened to the robbers? I, I bound them up with skipping rope. Right, well, 
It says here that one robber was knocked out and the other one ran away. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, um, well, I must have been gone by then. Must have been the counter server. And why did you rob that store? <laughs> <laughs> Behold my rise to villainy power. I figured out the Brigadier's plan. The convenience store is where he's hiding his drugs. Drugs? Behold. <laughs> See? The Brigadier hides these drugs in his bears and he fakes a robbery so they can be moved. Then the police assume it's a normal robbery. So what do you hope to achieve with all of this? See, the Brigadier has a distinctive law on his upper right lip. If only I could find him and capture him. Do you really think you can take my place? <gasps> Here I am thinking you're just an idiot, but congratulations on figuring that out. Then again, what plays don't get done. Now that I know you're still an idiot, you pose no threat to me. Oh, then again, you never did. <laughs>